Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Good Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Scheduled for 12 rounds in the middleweight division between Roy Jones Jr. and Peter Manfredo Jr. Roy Jones Jr.'s confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. to the ring right now, flanked by his cornerman, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. Introducing first, with a record of 54 victories, with 40 by knockout and seven defeats from, from Pensacola, Roy Jones Jr. Jr. And his opponent across the ring with a record of 35 wins, 19 knockouts, and six losses. Fighting out of Providence, Peter, the pride of Providence, Manfredo Jr. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side of the game when you have two speedy fighters matching up. Well, you know what? I'm going to whisper in my guy's ear a little bit. I'm going to say, you know what? Use his speed against him. Step out a little bit. Let him shadow box a little bit. There's nobody there. And when he misses, step right back in. Make him pay. There's his... Oh, man, Fredo's oh, hurt by a big shot. Lynch him! Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. Did you see that? Round number one, and he's already down. And if he survives here, Joe, you wonder how that's going to affect him for the rest of the night. Because we expect him to be aggressive. Will he be tentative from now on? One, two, three, four, five. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now, he needs them right now. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And he's holding. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Well, Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Able to land the jab. And he comes with a straight right hand. 
now another left. He scores with the jab there. You know, Joe, a lot of times you think about a jab being used by an outside guy, but to get inside, you need a cover. And there, right there, was the cover. And bang, and away he goes. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? This fight is over. Roy Jones Jr.'s devastating attack wins the day quickly. A first round knockout. By the way of knockouts, your winner, Roy Jones Jr. I never saw that coming, an early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold.